Welcome to Cooking with Andrea. Today we're going to actually be brining our own beautiful beef brisket. We are going to make this gorgeous five pound piece of meat a uh, pastrami. So we're going to get started. Okay, so for my brine, I will need um, four quarts of water, which is one gallon. I went ahead and measured out two because I just need to dissolve the uh, sugar and salts in uh, the water. So, so it can cool faster. What I'm gonna do is just use the two quarts here and then I've got some ice and then I'll add some cold water so I can get it in the refrigerator sitting because I want my brine to be totally cool before I put my beautiful five pound piece of meat in there. Oh, I'm just gonna put it over here. So we're gonna get started. I have one cup of brown sugar and I'm just gonna put it in. Scrunch it up a little bit right here. I'm gonna give it a, just a little mix with my whisk here. And then I'm gonna take one cup of kosher salt. I'm just gonna put it in. I already pre-measured everything so you guys didn't have to see me measuring. And then what I did is um, I took one teaspoon. Now, when this is actually curing salt. This is something I've never used before. Like when I did my corned beef brine, we didn't use it. We couldn't find it in town and I was reading up on it, really didn't need it uh, because we were gonna consume, consume it faster or I was gonna go straight to frozen. But today I want it um, because it's going to make my meat pink. And that's what I want. Last time I did it more all natural, and uh, but my corned beef was a little bit on the gray side, which I explained to you guys why it was on the gray side. It was perfectly cooked. Um, everything was perfectly fine. It was a fresh brisket. It's just that it sat in salty, soggy water, and so it made it that color. So all I'm doing here is dissolving my sugar, my curing salt, and my kosher salt. Okay, I'm just gonna let this heat for a minute. Okay, so the rest of my ingredients are gonna be uh, four, uh, four cloves of garlic. It looks like I have five, but one of my, my two pieces of garlic are small. So four or five uh, cloves of garlic. Normally I put four if they're all nice, big, and fat, uh, but the one was really small. I'm gonna do one fourth cup of peppercorn. And you can put it in now, or you can wait until everything goes in, but I'm just going to do it this way so I don't keep you on camera forever. I have a half cup of pickling seasoning, and I have a half cup of coriander. That's all I'm using. There's all my seasonings. So what I'm going to do, <coughs> actually the coriander just got me. <clears throat> or actually, I think it was the pickling spice. Good Lord, excuse me here. Choking. But if you keep your mouth talking and open and you're dumping spices, you're going to get something in. Um, so I'm letting everything just heat up. Shouldn't take more than a few minutes. And then what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to just... Oh no, I can't taste it. It has curing salt in it, so I can't do that. Because um, they say you need to be careful for that. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm bad, I'm always sticking my fingers in, tasting what I'm making. <coughs> Excuse me, it, that seasoning got me, which is good. You know me, season, 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 love it. So basically what I'm gonna do is just bring this to a nice little simmer, which is great. Everything is dissolved. Okay, so what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna pour it in. And then what we're gonna do is just let it cool. Okay, that's it. Now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead, let all the ice melt. Um, as soon as it melts, I'm gonna put it up to four quarts. We're gonna start the cooling process in the fridge and then we'll be back and sh uh, we'll put the uh, beef brisket in. Okay, welcome back. 
Um, Brian is nice and cool. I uh, went ahead and started it before we came back on. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that beautiful beef brisket in. Oh, beautiful. I'm going to take this to the sink because it's all full of uh, liquid. Now I'm going to get a little plate out. And this is going to brine for 48 hours. And then we're going to come back and I'll have it. I'll take it out for you. And then we'll go ahead and season it with our rub. And then what we will do is get it smoking. So we'll be back in 48 hours. Welcome back. Okay, we've had our beautiful uh, beef brisket in brine for three days. We are going to take it out in just a minute. But before we take it out, just wanted you to see it sitting there. I'm going to go ahead and make what I'm going to rub it with. First, I'm going to start with one, uh, two tablespoons of black pepper. I'm going to do uh, one tablespoon of pickling spice. I'm going to do one tablespoon of ground mustard. And then I'm going to do two tablespoons of coriander ground coriander and what I do is I grind my coriander uh, when it's rub time and my um, pickling seasoning seasoning uh, because I like the flavors I think the flavors are great and by going ahead and uh, brining in this same network of spices I did then rinsing my meat and putting ground oh tastes delicious in my uh, it has flavor flavor but not over flavored uh, if you don't like pepper like we do, maybe just use one tablespoon if you're making it. But we like pepper, and I want it to have a good pe peppered flavor. Because when I go to slice sandwiches, I want a little crust of pepper and seasoning with that fantastic smoked meat. And it'll come together great. I've done it before. It's not my first time. Um, it comes out great. I have also one tablespoon of smoked paprika. You... Don't have to use smoked. I like the smoke, even though I'm smoking it. Um, I can't get enough smoke. And then I'm going to be uh, not smoking with uh, hickory today. I'm doing a little bit more mild, but um, it's going to be delicious. And uh, what I'll do is go ahead and get the meat done. Everything's all mixed up now. And then what I'll do is I'll come back. I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna, well, I'm going to take the meat out so you can see me taking the meat out. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is go to the sink and I am going to wash it off. I want to get all these big peppercorns and all this other good stuff out. Okay, so here it is. This is what it looks like. Absolutely delicious. So this was a beef brisket and now we're going to turn it into a pastrami. So I'll go ahead and I'll be right back. Welcome back. Okay, so I pulled it out of the brine, our beautiful uh, beef brisket, which is going to be a pastrami. I layered this whole side nice and beautiful. It is just coated. So what I'm going to do now, because the reason I'm doing it this way is because this is going to cook, the fat's going to cook upside. So I'm going to do this one next. So basically all I did is put the rub on like this because I'm making the rub. You can use any kind of rub. You don't have to make your rub. And all I'm doing is actually repeating the same thing I uh, brined in. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. And uh, besides the um, paprika, that's all I'm doing. Because, you know, the meat is going to speak for itself. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start getting this in. And um, if I have to make more rub, I can make more rub. But... I think we got plenty. I've got one side super heavily coated. This is going to be nice and coated. And then what falls on the side, I'll go ahead and just pick it up, but I won't do it on camera. You know, I'll pick up the whole piece of meat. And then what I'll do is just roll it in there. But I just really wanted the seasoning to be on the top and the bottom. So when I go to slice it, um, I've got good flavor with that. But you don't want to over season it. So you don't taste that beautiful smoke and stuff. Like I said, I've got one side coated super heavy. And this one looks beautiful too. 
And this is my fat side. Mmm. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let this rest. Then we're going to get it to the smoker. And when um, we come back, we'll have a smoke product and we'll pull it out and show you. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, our pastrami came out beautiful. It came out so delicious. I've already tried a few pieces. If I don't stop trying pieces, we're not going to make it to sandwich time. Okay, I'm just going to cut a few more pieces, but oh my gosh, and wow, what curing does to things as far as color goes um, is amazing because I had told you guys um, before on my last video with my um, actual corned beef, we could not find curing salt in town, so my husband, he actually ordered it online and we got it in. Boy, I just want to show you this. This is absolutely beautiful. Mmm, it is so delicious. Fantastic. Mmm. I'm eating both pieces. It's that delicious. Gorgeous. I'm going to come back in a few minutes, and I'm going to make one sandwich, and we're just going to have it just a little bit heated up, the uh, pastrami. But it is absolutely fantastic. We'll be back. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome back. Oh, my gosh. Look at this beautiful smoke. Oh my goodness, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna make our sandwich. I toasted our bun. We got a nice little double crunch bun. And I'm just gonna put some beautiful pastrami. So please, you know, the curing salt made the color. You know, we've done this before, but we've never used the curing salt. Oh my gosh, this curing salt is absolutely just makes the meat pop. But it's really our seasoning too. So, you know, the ground that I said to use instead of even other seasonings, by brining it in the seasoning, grinding those seasonings, and then putting it out to smoke. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely beautiful. You guys will enjoy this. Uh, remember, we started with beef brisket, and this whole venture started with corned beef and then our beautiful pastrami just because we couldn't find one in our city at the point in time I wanted it. So uh, if you like the content, if you would please like, share, and subscribe, I'd be most grateful. And this is all I'm going to put on my beautiful sandwich. I got some cheese here if you'd like, uh, Swiss or provolone, mustard, whatever you would like to put on yours, but we're going all natural. Thank you so much and have a blessed week. My beautiful pastrami sandwich.